Hello ladies and gentlemen, another beautiful day here in the sunny side of Western Massachusetts. And of course this is Andrew, it is, today is Wednesday, July 16th, 2014. Uh, thank you once again for watching this. Also, I would like to thank, say my thanks to all the new subscribers out there. I want to say thanks to everybody who likes my videos, who comments on my videos. I really do appreciate it. It's great to hear from all of you, even though uh, sometimes I may not be able to respond to your comments i do highly appreciate your comments so please uh comment please subscribe please rate if you guys can uh, it's highly appreciated now i'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of a break from the news and i'm going to talk about a dream that i had and since my last stream got so many views and it, it seemed like it was really really popular i'm going to go ahead and share another dream that i just had last night and uh, in this dream was somewhat occultic, much more occultic than the one that I had in the, in that previous night. So uh, just hold on, let me go ahead and explain. And I'm, I'm going to start by, uh, well, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. In this dream, I'm sitting on top of monkey bars, or I'm sitting on top of some platform. And I'm looking down, and I see a gentleman uh, walking around with a bag of cash, or with, a, with you know, whether it's a bag or something. I couldn't really make it out, but I believe it was a bag that he had, uh, he had some cash in. He took the bag, he poured it all over the place. People uh, scrambled to get in uh, to get as much cash as they could. And the deal was, was he would reward people even more money for how much they collected. So let's say the people, uh, a person went out and collected five dollars off the ground, uh, you know, fighting after fighting off the mob, then he would give them something like ten dollars, you know, for just for collecting the five dollar bill. So in essence, I'm sitting on top of this platform. I'm watching this uh, occur right before my eyes. I'm watching everybody just scramble all at once to get the cash, and I said to myself. Am I going to go out and get that money? Am I going to do what everybody else is doing and uh, collect the, the cash just as everybody else is? And then I thought to myself in my dream, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait until everybody's done. I'm going to wait until everybody's done fighting with each other. And then uh, once everybody leaves, then I'll collect the cash uh, that's left on the ground. And of course... Uh, let me give you an example of what I'm seeing in my dream, and this has happened in real life. Now, during Christmas time, there was a story about an individual. I forget his name, but he would go to he would go to the malls, or he would go to you know. Last time I checked, he went to Times Square, New York, where he would just take a big bag of cash. He would just pour it all over the place, and it would create this huge uh, riot among people trying to uh, fight for all the cash that's on the ground to lose cash now of course the gentleman who does this in real life is doing it for charity work and I believe that's what the guy was doing in my dream was uh, attempting to do charity work but of course the same scene occurred but people dissipate and once people dissipated or once there were just a few other people left I uh, left the platform went down and collected as much cash as I could myself now at first I only collected a few dollars I collected a few dollars, then I went in line uh, to go and see this individual that was uh, doing this this charity for everybody. And as I said earlier, you were going to be able to earn more money for how much money that you had previously collected on the sidewalk. And this was, of course, a sidewalk. It, it looked to be a, in some sort of park or something. Now, what I noticed was, even though I only collected a few dollars, what I noticed was the cash grew or or the amount of money that i had that i had collected grew i i know it doesn't sound like it makes a whole lot of sense but i went from having a few dollars to having 75 dollars now i'm looking at the cash that i have and i'm sorting it out thinking wow this is strange i can't believe my money has grown like this and the two numbers that stand out, I see a $10 bill and I see a $20 bill. Now just, just hang with me, uh, this is going to get even more interesting later on. Uh, the guy, uh, I, there was an individual in line right behind me. 
and he's seeing all the cash that I had collected. He says, how much cash have you collected? How much you got there? You know, you can, I need to know how much cash you have. And and I said, listen, I, I'm not going to tell you how much cash I have. I'm not going to tell you how much cash I collected. Back off. And, you know, he kept pounding me and pounding me. He's like, I want to know how much you have and so on and so forth. Eventually, the individual doing the charity work walked out. And, uh, and the guy uh, who was hounding me, uh, trying to figure out how much cash I had, uh, he went away, you know, for whatever reason, as soon as he saw the guy uh, doing the charity work. Uh, the guy doing the charity work, charity work, I'm not sure who his name was, but he took me into the office, and he says, you know, I want to apologize to the guy that was right behind you in line. He's a jerk. He's a little bit slow. He's he has a lot of trouble. Just just don't bother with him. Just don't bother with him. I I apologize for that. And then he said, "Geez, you know, you have seventy five dollars here." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I I can't believe I have that much." He said, "Yeah, for for every dollar you collected, I'm going to give you another dollar. I'm going to give you a hundred dollars." And I'm like, "Okay." Now, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because technically, I'd have more than $75, but I probably would have more than $100 had he given me a dollar extra for every dollar that I collected, as he had said. But instead, he gave me $100. I mean, all right, this is interesting. Uh, later on, I forgot what else happened after that. I woke up, and then I thought to myself, well, in my dream, I had I had seventy five dollars. He gave me a hundred dollars. You break that up. That's twenty five dollars. Okay, that's that's twenty five dollars. And I, I apologize if there's there you go. <laughs> it just uh, the lens got a little dirty. But let me just uh, go ahead and repeat because I lost my train of thought. Now he. I had $75 originally. He gave me $100. Now, subtract 75 from $100. That's $25. Now, what's 2 plus 5? So, you take the 25, you break it down. Uh, 2 plus 5 is 7. That's interesting, isn't it? Now, as I stated earlier, the two numbers that really stood out to me when I was looking through all the cash I had were the ten dollar bill and the twenty dollar bill, and then later later on uh, earlier at work, I realized that when you add the ten dollars to the twenty dollars, to, to, to when you add the ten dollars to the twenty dollars, you have thirty dollars. So thirty. So you have uh, twenty five extra dollars that I'm get that I'm getting. Two plus five is seven, but then I have a ten dollar bill and then a twenty dollar bill. 10 plus 20 is 30, 730, July 30th, 2014. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, it was a bit of an occultic me message. I don't know what's going to happen on July uh, J July 30th. I have no clue. But, uh, of course, the dream seemed, as I said earlier, seemed a little bit occultic. Furthermore, uh, what I thought was really occultic was the whole Christine Lagarde speech back in January when she started off by saying, I'm going to go ahead and test your numerology skills. And I have recently been looking that up and, and learning about that. Uh, very bizarre uh, thing for someone in the International Monetary Foundation to uh, to say in the, during a speech. Normally, uh, that is something that maybe a psychic would talk about or other people would talk about more candidly than someone who is uh, a supposed banker, more of a politician than really a banker, but uh, a banker nonetheless. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.